Hey everyone, my name is Ksenia and today I'm reviewing Fenty Skin. I've been wanting to try Fenty Skin for a while now and I decided that there's no better way than to get some sort of a trial set and share the journey with you guys. So first we're gonna take a look at the packaging, at the product, the instructions and then we're gonna try it. And I know that for skincare to actually work, you do need some time. So this is not a one-time affair. This is a week or week and a half, I haven't decided yet, long experiment and I will give you guys updates. So I feel like this video should give you an exhaustive, you know, review of the line. So let's take a look at the set first. It's called the Fenty Skin Starter Set and it has really cool packaging with this like cardboard base. And what it has in it is the cleanser, the toner serum, which is interesting in itself, and the moisturizer. So the cleanser is called Total Cleanser and it's a foaming cleanser, but it does position itself as a remove it all cleanser, as an all-in-one. According to the box, you're supposed to use it day and night to remove makeup, dirt, and impurities. So the thing is, usually I double cleanse. And the whole shebang with double cleansing is that when you use an oil-based cleanser first, it removes oil-based impurities. And then when you use a water-based cleanser, it removes water-based impurities. So that way you have yourself a very functional system that is designed to remove all kinds of dirt and impurities from your skin. And according to the ingredients, this one is a water-based cleanser. So if it weren't for the video, I would probably just use it as my second step in my cleansing process, but for the sake of the experiment, we're gonna use it instead of the whole system. Then you're supposed to follow it up with fat water, which for some reason the name just absolutely cracks me up, but it is a toner slash serum, which is kind of strange. At first I thought it was just a toner, but Again, in the system, we are not provided with a serum, so it would only make sense for them to kind of merge it up into one product. The directions say that we should use it day and night on clean skin, apply over face with fingers. And it promises us to refine the look of pores, which is always great, reduce the look of dark spots, and even out our skin tone without stripping the skin, which is great. I cannot wait to touch this because it's my first time seeing this kind of a hybrid product. And I am a bit of a skincare aficionado, I am not an expert, I'm not a doctor, so don't take anything I say as direct advice, but I have tried quite some skincare. So this is something that I am kind of excited to try. By the way, it moves in the packaging. It kind of feels similar to those hydrating Lancome toners, which were really good actually, and I have used the pink one for quite a while before I switched to some more, you know, modern skincare, but this feels somewhat similar. And then we have the Hydra Visor, which is a moisturizer, but also a sunscreen, which is great because you are supposed to wear sunscreen every day. And the more I fall down the skincare rabbit holes on TikTok, the more it feels like, according to those skincare gurus, you are supposed to wear your sunscreen at all times, like including when you're at home, because even right now, as you can see by the sun on me right now, I'm sitting in front of the window and the light and the rays and the, you know, the whole ultraviolet thing is penetrating the window and harming my skin supposedly. So according to those people, you're supposed to wear sunscreen during the day, at night, at home, in front of your computer, which is pretty intense if you ask me. So it's really great to have a moisturizer that does have the SPF included and it does have the SPF of 30, which again, according to most skin doctors slash skincare experts, is the best SPF to have. It promises us light as air hydration, invisible sun protection, it defends and brightens our skin while reducing the look of pores as well. And it's made with care for coral reefs, which is amazing. It does not contain harmful ingredients. We're supposed to use it every single day and you can use it as a primer before makeup as well. And you're supposed to avoid contact with eyes. And Fenty Skin did release an eye cream a little later, but I haven't had a chance to get my hands on it just yet. So we're doing this as it's given to us in the starter kit. But also in the intro, you might have noticed something else in my hand. And that is the mist slash facial spray called, again, with an amazing pun, what to do. 
I decided to buy this in addition to the starter kit because I am a huge face mist enthusiast. I love mists. It's probably my favorite step of my skincare routine. And this one kind of doubles as a setting spray and as a makeup prep spray. But since they are telling us that you can use the Hydrovisor moisturizer as a primer as well, I feel like it would make sense for this to go as a step four since I cannot live without a mist. And as you can see, I'm wearing some makeup right now, so it's time to take it off. And I'm taking you with me to test out the cleanser. We're here. Welcome to my bathroom. So we're gonna remove the cleanser from the package. Here we go. It's so cute, so, so cute and small. And now it's time to make sure that our hair is not in our face. Guys, I just spent some time trying to figure out how to open this because I was fully expecting to unscrew the cap, but actually, you twist it. And that's how you open it. Oh my god. All this innovation is too smart for me, for my funny little brain. So we got some product, which is a nice light pink in color. It smells really nice. It smells, like, somewhat sweet. It has a nice leather. At this point in time, it does feel like it's gonna remove the makeup. So let's hope for the best. When you wash it off, it has this, like, soft feel, which is really nice. <laughs> it's great that it has this nice leather because as you can tell i have lash extensions so it's important to kind of wash them thoroughly does my face feel as clean as when i double cleanse i wouldn't say so but maybe it's just because i'm so used to the feel of a double cleanse that this doesn't feel credible enough but let's go back and let's pass to the next step and we're back as you can see, I don't have the most perfect skin, and as I said, I'm no doctor, I'm just an enthusiast. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying, doing my best, and I guess this could serve as the official before. So this is the before, the skin tone is not that even, some redness, some spots. I mean, just your normal human skin, it's whatever. <laughs> and when I do the after, I'll try and shoot in the same spot in the house, and roughly at the same time so that the light doesn't deceive you. So let's pass to our step two, and that is the toner slash serum, which is interesting. And I was fully prepared to grab my cotton rounds, but according to the instructions, you're supposed to apply it with your fingers. So let's go in. It smells kind of the same as the cleanser. And yeah, the texture is kind of jelly. I guess the name fat water is quite accurate after all. So we're gonna distribute it between our fingertips and go in like that. I feel like this might be one of the few times in my life where I've applied skincare without looking in the mirror. Of course, I do have the camera finder right there, but it feels like weird. I'm like, do I remember where my face is? <laughs> okay, this feels nice. And I do like the smell of these, but I almost feel like this is a bit too sweet for skincare. It makes you feel like you're putting sugar on your skin, which is very bad for your skin. Don't put sugar on your skin. Because sugar is, well, not comedogenic, but bacteria eats sugar, so the sugar helps it thrive. Okay, we gave it a couple of seconds to dry, and it feels nice. It feels a, a little tacky, but it doesn't feel drying or anything like that. Now let's go to our step three, the moisturizer. Here's the packaging again. Really nice and like minimalistic and neat. And I really love the color of the plastic that everything comes in. It's this like grayish pastel periwinkle, which is really, really pretty. Let's see, you know, the applicator, because the cleanser was strange, futuristic. This is quite the usual nozzle that you get on a moisturizer. Or actually, you usually get something like that on a serum. So let's try. I'm getting a couple of healthy pumps. And it smells, I think, a little different. It's way less sweet and more like fresh. 
This is really nice. I really love this. I like this better than the smell of the previous step. I love the texture. It's like gel almost. Let's try. Oh, this is nice. The smells nice. Feels really nice. Oh, this is my favorite step so far. Smells super nice. And it smells familiar. It smells like something that I know, but I can't really put my finger on it. Maybe like some sort of a classic perfume. And so far, all the products work really well together. I can't sense any like rolling or stickiness so far. So this is really great. And now onto my favorite step, the mist. And I got it in a travel format to kind of test it out, but if I love it, I think I definitely will buy the bigger version. And the lid says, baby, what it do, which is, again, a super cute bun. And the instructions very aggressively tell us to shake it really, really well. Maybe that's because it also doubles as a setting spray, and maybe it has those, you know, matte particles in it, like the Too Faced setting spray, which... If I'm completely honest with you, the Too Faced setting spray, even though I do love Too Faced, the setting spray, I hate it. I gave it away because it was too dry for my liking. I want a refreshing, like, moisturizing almost feel from my setting spray, and that wasn't it. So if this is similar to those, like, matte, powdery setting sprays, then I'm not gonna love it. I think I've shaken it pretty well. And actually, I knew it was travel format, but I didn't know that the lid would be bigger than the product itself, which is a bit of a letdown. And you can use it before makeup, after makeup, during makeup, or while you're out and about, you can use it to refresh it, your makeup. But now we're gonna use it as a mist slash primer. After the cleanser thing, I was kind of afraid that I wasn't getting it right this time too, but it looks like a, like a regular spray. Let's try it. Oh. See how I started spraying it and then I had to bring it closer to my face? The instructions say 30 centimeters or 10 to 12 inches away from your face, which would be, I think, like that. So at first I brought it a bit too far and it didn't quite reach my face. Uh, but yeah, the spray is really fine, which is great because if you're using it to set your makeup, you're not gonna wanna feel like you're being doused with water. And I love the smell. Doesn't really give me that much of a hydrating feel, but it is advertised as something light, something on the go to refresh your makeup, so no complaints here. So now I've applied the entirety of the routine. Feels nice, but I do have to say that it feels a little sticky, especially for the moisturizer being advertised as gel-based. It's maybe a bit too sticky for my liking, but that's if I nitpick. And we also need to keep in mind that it's also a sunscreen, so it cannot feel like, you know, water. <laughs> so this is the immediately after. Of course, I don't expect any change immediately after, but this is just how the textures look on the skin. So you guys, I will film an update and I will be doing this routine for a week slash a week and a half to see the results. And there are two main ground rules for the test. Number one, do the routine every single day, no skipping. And number two, I'm not gonna do anything extreme to my skin while I do the routine. And by that I mean I'm not gonna do any like aggressive peels or like overuse masks or like do cosmetic procedures, anything like that. So just the routine. So yeah, I will see you guys along the way. Okay, update. <laughs> We're on day four right now. And I really did not expect to be in the place I'm at right now with this video. Um, I'm wearing a face mask, as you can see, and I wanted to do like a pure testing and not do any face masks throughout the week slash week and a half that I was testing the products. But I just had to, <laughs> because it's day four and I'm breaking out so freaking bad. Like, I started breaking out actually on day one, and I did not really think much of it because, like, first, it's normal that when you switch your skincare regimen, you can break out, and also I thought that maybe it was because I wasn't eating that clean, or maybe there was some other reason, but we're on day four, and I'm breaking out so freaking bad that I'm not even gonna show you because it's scary. And the moisturizer, the hydrovisor, I found myself trying to avoid using it because it really doesn't feel that nice on the skin and 
Uh, we know that it's also sunscreen, and they claim that it's invisible. First of all, it's not. It does leave a white cast. And second of all, it does feel very much like sunscreen. And to me, sunscreen has been very comedogenic in the past. And I managed to find a sunscreen by Holika Holika, which is a Korean brand that doesn't break me out. But all the other sunscreens do seem to break me out. And this seems to be like, it's not an exception. And also the cleanser and the toner claim to be like pore refining and stuff like that. But I have been feeling very clogged these four days. So I guess we'll see what happens by the end of the week but I am afraid that we might have to stop the testing. And I'm not saying that those products are bad, except for the moisturizer maybe, because it does have a white cast and it does feel very clogging, but the toner and the mist and the cleanser feel good. Maybe it's just that they are not a good fit for my skin, which I don't think I mentioned it in the first part of the video, I have combination skin. But yeah, we'll see what happens, but I am not happy right now. Okay, so, Things are not going to plan. <laughs> this is me actually five-ish days after I quit using the cream and the toner, the fat water. And you can see that I still have some pretty major breakouts from it, even though I am wearing makeup right now. And you guys, I am not gonna attempt this anymore. Like, this is just not right for me. I am still using the cleanser and the mist, like, to set my makeup, but it's really not working for me. I just cannot bring myself to start using it again. So, yeah. Unfortunately, you guys are not getting satisfied before and after in this video. So, as I promised, I'm in the same light at the same time, but I quit using it and I just could not get myself to start using it again for the life of me because I felt like it was bad for me. Obviously not wearing makeup right now and it's nothing, you know, too tragic but you can see by the pigmentation and some of the scabbing that I am healing from some pretty intense breakouts brought to you by Fenty Skin. <laughs> Thing is, for me, most sunscreens are comedogenic, and I found like one that works and doesn't break me out by Holika Holika. And this, the Hydrovisor, is a sunscreen. Like, let's just face it, this is not a moisturizer, this is a sunscreen. It has a white cast, it goes on like sunscreen, it feels like sunscreen, you get it. And the fat water, I'm not sure if I can blame my breakouts on it, but the smell of it that when I first tried it, I kind of liked because it smells kind of like cookies, it smells sweet. It just feels weird to be putting this kind of fragrance on the face. I still use the cleanser and the mist, however, I only use the mist to set the makeup, I don't use it directly on the skin because I just don't trust anymore. The cleanser is good, but I would recommend it as one step of your two-phase cleansing process, not on its own. It's a water-based cleanser, not a miracle, it's not gonna remove oil-based impurities. So I'm not gonna sit here and like bury Fenty Skin, right? I am 100% sure that for some people it will work, it's just I'm not one of those people. And I am just a person with combination skin, nothing too super problematic, maybe a little sensitive, so if you have sensitive combination skin, maybe not your thing. And definitely not your thing if sunscreens break you out. So I guess we're still in the curse of a cosmetic brand releasing a skincare line. And everyone criticized Kylie Cosmetics for it, and everyone was like, but Fenty Skin is not gonna do us dirty like that. But, you know, I guess it is a golden rule that is not to be broken. <laughs> so yeah, this was kind of a fail. But give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it. Write me a comment telling me what was your experience with Fenty Skin. Subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell to never miss an upload, and find me on my social media. I'm at Ksenia Did That on almost any platform. Goodbye.